Ho, ho, ho. What's up, my brothers and sisters? Mike C, back at you uh, with another showing. Uh, I bet you guys can't guess what showing this is. <laughs> nah, I'm sure you guys got it down. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little story on this before I get into it. You know, I like to tell those stories. Hey, I live in Hollywood, so I like to tell stories. But anyway, I believe the year was 1978. Uh, I was hanging out with a couple friends in French Charlie's Park back in the Bronx. And I was a very young kid at the time. Uh, I like to still think of myself as a young kid as of today, too. But anyway... So I got a couple of friends walking down to the park and they come over to me. They're like, Mike, you got to see this movie. And I said, what movie? They were like, we just came from the movies. We saw this great movie. And I said, well, why didn't you tell me about it? And they said, we just kind of said, hey, let's go see this movie. I said, okay, what movie is it? They were like, Halloween. I was like, Halloween? What the hell is it about? Is it comedy or what? They're like, no. Probably the scariest movie I have ever seen. And I said, come on, dude. I said, The Exorcist is the scariest movie anybody has ever seen. He's like, this is different and it is badass. So I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow I'm going to cut school, me and a couple of other people, and I'm going to go and see Halloween. And he said, dude, you're going to love it. You're going to go crazy over it. So, next day comes around. We cut school. Me and four of my friends, we sneak into the RKO theaters on Fordham Road in the Bronx. Uh, we basically climb down fire escapes and stuff like that to get into this place. So, we risked our life to see this movie. But we used to do it for every movie anyway. So, we always risked our life. But anyway... We get in, we watch the movie, come out. I had to say, it didn't top The Exorcist, but it was running number two. Uh, hands down, The Exorcist has to be the scariest movie of all time. Uh, I still feel that way today. Uh, it's slow, but those 30 minutes of Linda Blair is just, I mean... <laughs> Still to this day, I shake my head over it. But enough with that, back to Halloween. So this is the uh, brand new Sideshow premium, premium uh, not from Sideshow, but it is a company, premium, premium Collectible Studios. That's what it is. I never heard of them before, but I liked the figure when I saw it come up for pre-order and I said I need one of these guys in my collection because I don't have a Michael Myers and you know if you guys follow me throughout you know all my videos I'm a very versatile collector I like to have a little bit of everybody all the famous stars obviously and that's what I'm about. I have my favorites, but I like to dip into, you know, everybody. Uh, I think that's what keeps the collection really interesting. If you venture out of your comfortability, your box that you really like, and you collect, you know, other figures. Uh, but this, I mean, you younger collectors, uh, you know, when you're, when you get to experience something as it happens, it's such a different feeling. It's like, it's almost like the people that got to witness Elvis or, you know, or the Beatles, you know, I didn't get a chance to do that. But those people, you know, when it's happening, it's phenomenal. It's like, you know, when this movie came out, it was happening and it was like, wow, this is incredible. This is incredible, you know. Uh, so it's the era. I mean, yeah, you guys, you younger kids can be fans of this and, and, and enjoy it as much as me. But when you were there, as it broke through, you know, it's just, a, it's just a total different level of experience. But anyway, enough of that. 
Sorry to be chatting your ear off, but I just missed all you guys. Let's dive in. You know how we do it. Top to bottom. There we go. Look at that. He's looking pretty good there, I have to say. I have to say, Mike is looking pretty good. He's very, very movie-like. And this was actually a fair price from Sideshow. When I first saw it come up about a year ago, I believe it was for pre-order, I said, this is the one I want in my collection. Uh, you guys know I have a, you know, a couple of other guys. I have all the main slashers, uh, and he's gonna go perfect in that category. Look at the eyes, you can see the eyes. It's pretty, pretty badass. zip around them you know the hair is almost I want to say <laughs> it moves it's pretty nice definitely resembles Michael now am I the biggest horror film fan absolutely not but like I said I was young enough and I was around to experience these guys when they broke down the door. So it was very entertaining at the time. Look at the ears. Profile's pretty good. I wanna say that this was about 600 bucks to the door. And I definitely need a Michael Myers, so. I thought this was the perfect one. Again, not a space hog. So I like that. Let me see how. It's got a little the yeah, it's a little. But you know what? That's okay. He he does fit very snug, so I guess that's just something you cover up with. Yeah, that little space, I guess that's something you cover up with, with this, uh, but you really can't see it, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll fix his clothes around it, and yeah, nah, it's, nah, it's not bad. No, it's, it's good. Now, let's make our way down a little bit. Definitely, uh, resembles the film. Uh, you get two slashing knives with this. One with no blood. Uh, I don't understand why you would use that. I mean, I, I'd rather have blood on the knife. And then his fist is flexed. He comes in, the head comes off, one arm, one arm. And I guess this is the exclusive version uh, that comes with the pumpkin right here and the pumpkin lights up, uh, but they didn't give you a battery with it. So I don't know how hard I'm gonna try to track down the, the size of this battery here in there. I, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna get it from, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, sorry guys, let's check out the rest of his clothes are really nice. I mean, it definitely resembles uh, Myers' little jumpsuit that he had on. Pockets. And I will dig into him a little later on if these clothes could be removed or something like that. I just popped in the door a little while ago, and I saw this in my doorway. My, my wife dragged it in, and so... Clothes well, tailored very nice on them. Fits very well. All right. Let's see. The shoes. Let's get into the shoes. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty good. The shoes are a little uh, dirty, so kind of blends right in with that real, real look. There we go. The other shoe. Weathered, looks really cool. That's the back of the shoe. Right, let's swing around, let's get the front. Ah, 
Sorry guys, man, I just popped in. It's been pretty busy over the last couple of days, man. Can't wait till these people continue to get shots in their arms. This way we don't have to be called out every minute. Uh, and the wind has been kicking up out here the last couple of days and thank God we didn't get no blast of fires, but uh, let's get these shots in the arms and get people, uh, get people safe again. All right, front of the shoes. Look at that, weathered. It's incredible. Let's see if I can slide this up a little more. Let's see, guys. Oh, yeah, look, the boots come all the way up. Didn't even notice that. Like I said, I just popped this out of the box and just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on it. Let me see, are those late? No, they're. All right, here we go, pumpkin. This is. This comes off, has a little switch there, like the punk in, but they didn't supply the battery. And judging by the size of the battery, as I looked inside, it's going to probably be pretty difficult to find. Well, we'll figure it out. All right, let's get the base. <clears throat> Gotta love the base right there. Look at that. Remember that scene? It's great. You know, this is statue or whatever you want to call it. It's done pretty well uh, from this company. Swing around. Look at that. This is pretty nice, man. Let's see anything back here. There we go. I have to say, man, I'm glad I purchased this because now I don't have to look for a Michael Myers. And I think this is the perfect one because I am gonna be limited on space inside my horror collection. And as you can see, I'm still waiting for these damn shelves. They have supposedly have docked like almost a month ago and uh, they haven't cleared customs yet. So, still in, a, still in the pattern, waiting pattern. All right, this, this, is, this was kind of trippy. They brought this, they sent this with it. I thought this was kind of cool. Slash exclusive, 198 of 1500. So, PCS. And you know what? They really boxed this thing really well. I want to show you what they did here with the box. Uh, they put these, these things on the side of the box. So I don't know if that was Sideshow or the company that Sideshow is working with on this. But definitely uh, helps absorb some of the, the kicks and punches that these boxes receive. Uh, I'm sure they... This company probably saw a lot of UPS videos and uh, and said, hey, let's protect the product. <laughs> uh, box is not big at all. This is the box it came out of. And they actually wrap it up really well. They no tape. They use the straps. And the straps have their brand on it. So it's not done really cheap. So, I mean, I was kind of impressed with it when I was popping it open. But let me give you a far away shot, guys. I think he looks, I don't know, I'm looking at him and I feel like turning on the TV and watching Halloween. I mean, all right, guys, I got to get going. I got to get something to eat, man. I'm dying over here. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Be safe. And until the next video, peace out. 
I know I didn't show myself today. Uh, I like showing myself, but today I couldn't do it. <laughs> all right, man. Hope you're all safe. Uh, until next time, next video. Peace.